I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and God has called and commissioned me to lead people of all walks of life to a deep and genuine encounter with Him. My dear friend, I encourage you as I pray for you today and as I share a message with you, be in agreement, believe and you shall receive in the name of Jesus. Hello to you, my dear friend. It's Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here, and it's so good to be with you today. It is indeed another day that God has given us, another day to live to the fullest, another day to accomplish great things. And God shall give you the grace to do just that. My dear friend, it is another day that we can pray, that we can seek God, and today we're going to press in, and I trust and believe that the anointing, the power of God, the presence of God will be with you, even as we pray today, and God will take you to a greater glory. Today, my dear friend, I've got a special message for you and the title of the message is Never Miss the Hour of Your Visitation. Now, I've shared on this before, but the Lord has led me to share on it again. It's so essential that we as born-again believers, especially us as born-again believers, it applies to every human being, but especially us as born-again believers, it is so essential that we never miss the hour of our visitation. This is your time for breakthrough. This is your time for divine happenings. It is so essential that you do not miss the hour of your visitation. My dear friend, I want to tell you something. There are some people when it's time to move, they are busy sleeping. There are some people when it's time to sleep, they are busy moving. There are some people when God is moving fast, they are moving slow. There are some people when God is moving slow, they are moving fast. Always pray and ask for the grace of God so that you will never be one of these people that I've mentioned. Because if you become one of these people, then you are moving out of sync with the Spirit. And if you are moving out of sync with the Holy Spirit, then the chances are high that you will miss the hour of your visitation. Today we're going to pray powerful prayers, my dear friend. You will never miss the hour of your visitation. As we pray today, you will not miss the hour of your visitation. We are going to pray. And we're going to trust God. We are going to believe God that by the end of these few minutes that we spend together praying, you will hear the voice of the Holy Spirit clearly in your heart and you will not miss the hour of your visitation. You will see God move mightily and you'll experience His power. Once again, I've said it before and I'll say it again. The most tragic thing that you can do as a human being is miss the hour of your visitation. Let us pray today, my dear friend. Let us trust God together. Let us come in agreement. There is so much power in agreement. Let us agree that you will not miss that special time that God has apportioned for you to have a divine happening, for you to have a divine encounter with the Lord, for you to experience your breakthrough, for you to experience a miracle. You should not miss that time. We will pray and you will not miss it in the name of Jesus. In saying that, my dear friend, take your cell phone and your device. Just go somewhere private where you can pray, where you can seek God. And even as you go there, my dear friend, begin to lift up praises to God. As the praises go up, the blessings of God will come down and God will touch and change your life forever. In saying that, let's begin to praise Him. Just begin to praise Him in your own words. Lift up praises to God. Father, You are our God and we just praise You. There is no other God like You. You are the Alpha and the Omega. You are the beginning and the end. Father, we just thank you for your grace, for your mercy, for your love. We thank you that you will never leave us. You will never, ever, ever forsake us. We thank you, Lord, that you are with us. Your presence, the presence of your Holy Spirit is with us. And we thank you that we will never be left alone. We thank you and we give you praise that you are with us. And because of your presence, because of your grace, because of your love, we will not miss the hour of our visitation. Father, even today, as we seek you, release the grace that my dear friend watching this video will never miss the hour of their visitation. And even as you do so, receive all the praise, receive all the honor, receive all the glory. There is no other God like you. I thank you for your presence that's here even right now. Thank you for your power like a blanket that's just surrounding us right now. Lord, even as we go into a time of prayer, receive all the praise as you do what only you can do, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen. Hallelujah. My dear friend, our Lord is gracious. Our Lord is mighty. Our Lord is wonderful. And He is a good God. He will bless you and He'll take you to greater glories. 
Now, my dear friend, we're going to go into a time of prayer. We're going to begin to pray and God will surely bless you. But before we go into a time of prayer, my dear friend, I want to encourage you to do two simple things. The first thing that I want you to do, my dear friend, is lift up your hands and say this with me. Say, Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you in this place. Help me, Lord Holy Spirit, so that I will not miss the hour of my visitation. Help me, Lord Holy Spirit, so that I can connect to Jesus on a deeper level. Help me, Lord Holy Spirit, be with me. Help me to seek God. Help me to go deeper. Give me revelation knowledge, Lord Holy Spirit. I pray this in Jesus' name and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. My dear friend, the second thing that I want to encourage you to do is comment down below in the comment section and agree with me. There is so much power in agreement and even as you comment and agree, God is going to bless you and God's going to do what only He can do in your life and you're going to go to a greater glory. But in saying that, my dear friend, let us begin to pray. Father, I pray for my dear friend. Lord, I pray, release your grace, release your mercy, that wherever my dear friend is, that your grace and your mercy will touch my dear friend. That whenever my dear friend will watch this video, even if it's a year later, even if it's two years later, that you will touch and change the life of my dear friend. Lord, I pray, wherever my dear friend is, release the grace over my dear friend, that my dear friend will never, ever miss the hour of the visitation. Lord, I pray, if my dear friend has grown cold and moved away from you, touch my dear friend and restore my dear friend. Restore my dear friend just in time that my dear friend will not miss the hour of their visitation. Lord, I pray, intervene divinely today. Do what only you can do. Release your higher ranking warring angels to begin to fight for my dear friend, that my dear friend may be close to you, that my dear friend may do what you have called them to do, that my dear friend may be positioned in the place where they need to be positioned in order for them to experience the visitation. Father, I thank you for visitations. I thank you for divine happenings. I thank you for divine encounters with you. I thank you, Lord, that no one who comes in contact with this video will miss the hour of their visitation. I thank you, Lord, for your divine presence, your divine anointing, your power that enables us to do what we need to do, your power that enables us to fulfill the divine calling and agenda that you have for our lives. Lord, I pray, wherever my dear friend is, touch my dear friend with your presence. Touch my dear friend with your power. Touch my dear friend with your glory. Lord, wherever my dear friend is, let my dear friend experience your deliverance working power. Wherever there are any demons, we bind them up and we cast them out by fire and by force. Wherever you are, you evil spirit, affecting the life of my dear friend, trying to cause my dear friend to miss the hour of the visitation. You evil spirit, I arrest you with the power in the name of Jesus. I bind you up hands and feet, and I cast you out right now by fire and by force in the name of Jesus. Whatever work you've been doing in my dear friend's life, I nullify it to nothing with the power in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare, my dear friend is free from today onwards, and this deliverance is permanent in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I apply the blood of Jesus over you, my dear friend. As a man of God, I decree and declare, you will never miss the hour of your visitation. God will visit you from today onwards and you will have divine happenings. You will have divine encounters with the Lord. You will not miss the hour that the Lord has destined for you to have a divine encounter with Him. You will have a visitation from the Lord. In the name of Jesus, Amen and Amen. Hallelujah. My dear friend, I am so excited. I know you are going to have a visitation with the Lord. And for different people, it will be in different ways. Some will see the Lord. Some will have divine encounters with the Lord. Some will have divine experiences. Some will have divine dreams. Some will hear the voice of God within their spirits, speaking to them, showing them the way that they must go in the name of Jesus. But in saying that, my dear friend, we come to the end of this video. From myself, Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez, God bless you and goodbye. If you were blessed by this video and you'd like to give a seed, feel free to do so using any one of the secured links provided in the description. If you would like to partner with us to support the work of the gospel on a monthly basis, then you can do so via Patreon. The link for Patreon as well as other information is also provided in the description. Other than that, my friend, God bless you, God keep you, God make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Until we meet again next time, shalom and goodbye.